Hello gamers, hope you all doing well. Today, I'm gonna bring you guys the ultimate FPS boost guide for Fortnite for low-end PCs and laptops. You guys might remember, my FPS boost guide for Valorant got so much popular and tons of positive reception from you guys, and I finally got time to finish up the guide for Fortnite. I know you many of you guys asked for this guide specifically, so here it is. Before that, if you like these type of content and still haven't subscribed, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay up to date. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay guys, before moving on, I wanted to clear some of the things with you guys. Most of you guys comment and said that Fortnite is not a low-end game anymore, and you are not gonna be able to run this in a low-end system. Which is quite right. So, as usual I'm gonna do all these testing in my laptop, with Intel HD 620 graphics, and show you the exact results. And the whole purpose of this video is to boost FPS to the max, without caring about the graphics quality, or how good the game looks. So, you can actually see how much performance improvement you can get with these low-end integrated graphics. Before moving on, I would suggest you to watch my FPS boost guide for Valorant, because there are some steps that you can directly apply to this video as well. So, I'm only mentioning the necessary steps here. Okay guys, first of all make sure you're running the latest versions of Windows 10, or even Windows 11, because most of the modern titles are well optimized for Windows 10 and higher. Secondly, if you are playing games on a laptop, make sure to connect your power cable. It will allow you to perform much better without power consumption limitations. Finally, make sure you are using the latest versions of your Intel HD graphic drivers. By looking at the comments from the previous guide, I can see many of you guys don't know how to update your Intel HD drivers, so let me quickly show you. First, right-click and open up the Intel graphics control panel. And then go to options and support. As you can see I'm running on Intel HD 620 graphics. In here, go to support, and you will find a link that direct you to download the latest drivers. Open up the link. Here you can either update drivers automatically, or you can select it manually. Just select your graphics model, and download and install the latest version. It's easy. First, let's see how the game performs in 1080p, lowest settings, without any optimizations. As you can see, it gives you around 15 to 20 FPS most of the time, and it's literally unplayable. I'm recording the gameplay using OBS here, so it also stress up the system even more. 1080p is quite demanding, so let's drop the resolution, and see how much FPS we are getting. Now let's drop the resolution to 720p, and lowest settings, including 3D resolution to the lowest as well. Pretty much disable everything, and set everything to the lowest as possible. Now we are getting around 35 to 40 FPS most of the time, even while recording the gameplay. But we still want more FPS right? Okay, now go to the settings, and let's enable performance mode which is really helpful for low-end systems. Okay, enabling performance mode is quite easy. Go to settings and scroll down. Then you'll find rendering mode. Change this to performance and apply. Then make sure to restart your game before anything. So, now we are running on 720p, lowest settings in performance mode and you will get around 60 FPS, even while recording the gameplay, which is pretty good. FPS may drop to 40s in demanding areas, but you will get well over 60 FPS in less demanding areas of the map. This is a very playable experience, but the graphics doesn't look that good. But we are considering about low-end gamers here, which they couldn't even run the game before. Which is a huge performance boost in my opinion. But if we want to see the real FPS numbers, we have to turn off the OBS, because it stresses our CPU a lot more. 
Now let's use an external recording method to see the real FPS numbers. Okay guys, now I'm using my phone to record. And just look at those FPS numbers. We are getting well over 85 to 90 FPS, even in demanding areas, and the game is just buttery smooth. Sometimes you get 100 plus FPS in less demanding areas, which is pretty insane. This is a very playable experience, and there is not even a single lag or stutters. I will keep the video for a few minutes, so you can see the real FPS numbers. But please don't mind the poor video quality here. Well, that's pretty much it guys. But you can gain a little more performance boost by enabling high performance mode and game mode in Windows 10. As well as changing priority to high in task manager. I explained those in my previous guide, so I kindly remind you guys to watch it as well. I hope this video is helpful to anyone who's struggling to play Fortnite in a low-end system. Or anyone who wants to boost their frames as well. So, if you find this video helpful, a like would be much appreciated. And if you have any issues, please make sure to drop a comment below as well. And also make sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more content. I see you guys in my next video. Stay home, stay safe.